If you're an adventure lover or one who's looking to go on an adventure, then you're in luck. Today we've made a list of the world's most hidden places you can visit. This list is compiled based on beautiful scenery, hidden and unknown places, wildlife and plant bases. Each location is twice as awesome as the last, so you might want to watch till the end. You'll be thrilled by the number of places you can visit to spend time with yourself, a loved one, or just quench that burning thirst for adventure. Mount San King This is a renowned Taoist sacred mountain located 40 kilometers north of Yushan County in Yangqing Province, China. San King means three pure ones in Chinese. Mount San King is made up of three main summits, Yu Jing, Yu Shi, and Yu Hua, representing the Taoist trinity. It has been classified as a national park in China. The mount serves as a shelter for animals and plants. It houses 2,300 species of plants and 400 species of vertebrates. It has exceptional scenic views, fantastically shaped granite pillars and peaks. It features numerous waterfalls, rich in flora, spectacular cinematic views, and enchanting natural beauty that is unique in the world. Are you considering a trip to Mount San King yet? Seagrot in Interbrol the Seagrot in Interbrol, Austria, is a cave system with a large grotto located under a former gypsum mine. The lake is 60 meters below the ground and the water surface is 6,200 meters squared. In 1912, an underground blast operation in the gypsum mine caused millions of liters of water to gush out from behind the rocks, thereby flooding it and creating the underground lake. Seagrot is claimed to be the underground lake in Europe. The cave was even used in the film The Three Musketeers. Seagrot is definitely an interesting place to visit, underground lake and all. Las Lalias Sanctuary The Las Lalias Sanctuary, also known as the Las Lalias Cathedral, is Latin America Catholicism turned into Disney. The church rises 100 meters above a canyon floor in a fairy tale spectacle of flowering stones and white tipped spines. The sanctuary is 7 kilometers southwest of border town Ipa in southwest Colombia. Legend has it that decades before the church was built, a little girl who was traveling with her mother was cured of her condition when she glimpsed an image of the Virgin Mary on a rock wall. The rock wall became a pilgrimage site as news of the miracle spread fast, and this led to the erection of the church. The interesting thing about the Las Lalias Cathedral is that the church was built inside the canyon, where the Guitarra River flows at 100 kilometers high from the bottom of the canyon. It took 33 years to build such a beautiful piece of art. This breathtaking Gothic cathedral reminds you of a fairy tale European castle. The Las Lalias Sanctuary is the most magical church with the most dramatic setting you'll ever visit. Ping Valavat Lake, Iceland. The Ping Valavat Lake is the largest national lake in Iceland. It's located on the Mid Atlantic Rift and is an outflow of the River Sog. The lake is a home for the giant brown trout, the three spined stickleback, and the Arctic char. The land around the lake has footpaths that allow visitors to get close and have different views of the beautiful and peaceful lake. The lake also has scuba diving sites that are amazing to visit. The spring waters are filtered through the layers of the surrounding lava, making the lake clear and easy to spot fish. If you're fascinated by life underwater, then this is the place for you. Mooch around Montreal Botanical Garden. This large botanical garden comprises 75 hectares or 190 acres of thematic gardens and greenhouses. It's considered to be one of the most important botanical gardens in the world due to the extent of its collections and facilities. The botanical gardens have approximately 20,000 plant species and cultivars. There is also a herbarium of nearly 100,000 reference specimens. This special garden contains aesthetic plants, medicinal plants, and other important and significant plants. It also has water gardens, a rock garden, an arboretum, 10 exhibition greenhouses, and treehouses. The botanical gardens offer a colorful program of events, exhibitions, and activities all year round. The most popular exhibit is the Butterflies Go Free exhibit. It takes place from February till April. It's an annual exhibit that features thousands of live butterflies and moths released into the grand sear of the exhibition greenhouses. There are a lot of butterflies flying everywhere and it creates such beautiful scenery. If you're a lover of butterflies, the botanical gardens will allow you to be surrounded by them once every year. Another popular yearly event is the Magic of Lanterns. In this event, the Chinese and Japanese gardens are illuminated and beautified with lanterns and oriental-themed installations during the autumn season. The nights are so beautiful with these lanterns and are beautiful to watch with or without loved ones. Psychedelic Salt Mines in Vekenburg, Russia 
The mind-blowing and dizzying patterns covering this abandoned salt mine that is 650 feet below the Russian city are totally natural and unbelievable. The surreal swirls and patterns are caused by layers of mineral carnalite. The mine dates back millions of years to when a salty sea dried up, leaving behind mineral deposits that caused colored and strange patterns. The colors that make up the pattern are yellow, white, blue, and red. Together, these patterns paint a river of colors along the ceiling, walls, and floors of the abandoned mine. The first photo of the mine surfaced when a young, adventure-loving Russian photographer went on an adventure into the mines. If you're planning to visit the salt mines, you should know that they're pitch black and would require artificial light before the patterns can be seen. The tunnels are long and confusing. Salt particles are in the air and causes one to keep feeling thirsty. What are we saying in essence? Easy. If you're in search of real adventure, try the salt mines, but remember to do the necessary research and carry along the essential equipment required for such an adventure. We don't want you getting lost in the tunnels and never to return. Monastery of Santa Maria della Sola in Tropea, Italy The Monastery of Santa Maria della Sola is located on the breathtaking coastline of the Tyrrhenian Sea, also known as the Coast of the Gods. It is a 4th century monastery that is accessible only by climbing up a winding flight of stairs carved directly into a cliffside. The combination of emerald green water, white sand, blue sky, and a little church on a rocky cliff is irresistible. The monastery is a lovely city park, and the church has lovely terraces and balconies that give you a total view of the island and its breathtaking beauty. Huacachina, Peru This is a village built around a small oasis and surrounded by sand dunes in southwestern Peru. Huacachina has a permanent population of 100 people, aside from visitors. According to legends, the water and mud of the area are therapeutic. Both locals and tourists bathe in the water and cover themselves in mud in an attempt to cure their ailments. At its center are the waters of Wawakachina lagoons surrounded by palm trees. Dune buggy and sandboarding are the most popular activities in Wawakachina as the sand dunes surrounding the village provide the right environment. There is also the Nazca Lines flight, which is considered by many as one of the most mysterious places in the world. Wawakachina is the only natural oasis in South America. It is also home to the biggest sand dunes on the continent. Wawakachina is a beautiful place with a beautiful climate, friendly people, dreamy sunsets, and also a very unique feeling of being in the middle of a desert next to a beautiful oasis. Door to Hell Darvaza Gas Crater, also known as the Door or Gates of Hell, is a natural gas field that collapsed into a cavern in Denvi's Turkmenistan. According to Turkmen geologists, a drilling oil operation decades ago led to the discovery of this natural gas pocket. The engineers then thought that the dangerous gases coming from the pocket would be released into the nearby town. In order to avert this impending danger, they decided to burn the gases off. It was estimated that the gases would burn out within weeks. But instead, it has continued to burn for 50 years and is expected to keep burning. The ground at the door of hell is full of thousands of small fires and sounds like that of a jet engine roaring a high-pressure gas burning sound. The burning gas doesn't produce any smoke, it burns clearly so that nothing is obstructing your view. Am I the only one wondering what sort of gases are burning without smoke? This is a really must-see for anyone looking for a hot adventure. People are allowed to camp out on the empty land surrounding the crater. Snorkel Aquarium in Rangoria The Snorkel Aquarium is unique for its secluded location. Add that to its beautiful scenery and the fact that the region is known for offering a wealth of aquatic surprises and you have every tourist dream. A luxury ship called the Paul Gauguin is designed to sail the waters to the South Pacific, Tahiti, and Fiji. The Paul Gauguin cruise gives guests the option of participating in the snorkeling tour of Rangoria's aquarium. The snorkeling exercise here is so thrilling that it appeals to professional divers who are comfortable with snorkeling in deep waters. There is also an opportunity for scuba diving excursions, along with a tour in a glass-bottom boat that provides the perfect viewpoint for observation of the local marine creatures in their habitat. The aquarium is a delightful spot for anyone looking to go snorkeling in a reef full of colorful tropical fish. Reef fish are abundant in this area, and if you're a water sport and nature lover, this open water aquarium is a must-see. Apostles Island, Wisconsin The Apostles Island in Wisconsin refers to a group of 22 islands in Lake Superior off the Bayfield Peninsula in northern Wisconsin. 
the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore provides diverse and unique plant communities with over 800 plant species within the lakeshore. The Apostle Islands have stunning natural scenery, windswept beaches, eight historical lighthouses, beautifully carved rock formations, marine wildlife, and intricate sea caves. The National Lake offers lakeshore cruises and a brand tour that gives you a narrated, informative 50-50 scenic tour. No trip to the Apostle Islands is complete without a visit to the Sea Caves. The caves are a landscape of interconnected sandstone rooms dotting the shore along Bayfield and its islands. During winter, guests are allowed to walk on top of the lake to see the caves. The caves are beautified with frozen water along the walls and ceiling. Pangongso Lake the Pangongso Lake is a beautiful endoeric lake located in the Himalayas. It is 134 kilometers long, extending from India to China. The most spectacular thing about this lake is that it keeps changing colors. The first glance of this enchanting lake and its blue waters is enough to give you a long-lasting memory. The narrow stretch of land that leads to the lake is a beautiful site that has been a favorite place for all who visit, especially photographers. The lake is not home to any vegetation or aquatic life, but the surroundings are filled with many migratory birds. People are allowed to camp on the shores of the lake. Juzegu National Park The beautiful Juzegu is located in the Mincha Mountains in Nanping County, northern Sichuan. There are a little over 100 shimmering turquoise lakes there, and they all have unique colors. Multiple waterfalls and snow-capped peaks beautify the park. The Juzegu Valley is home to nine Tibetan villages, over 220 bird species, as well as a number of endangered plant and animal species. It's best known for its fabled blue and green lakes, narrow comic karst landforms, and its unique wildlife. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. Did you like this video? Then why stop watching? Click on the next video right now to start watching another great video from The Drop. Don't forget to slap a like on the video. Until next time, keep being awesome and amazing. Take care.